Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Happy 2021! I know with every new year, there comes a lot of resolutions and fitness is one of the big ones. So even though this video may be coming out a little bit late, I still wanted to reflect on my own fitness journey and provide five tips to help you guys pursue your fitness goals as well. Also, I decided to do this video in a drawing animation style and honestly, it took an embarrassingly long time and the animations are not even very difficult but it is my first time trying something like this, so feedback would be much appreciated as well. Before the intro gets way too long, let's just get into it. The first step is to set realistic habit-based goals. So what does this mean? Realistic means breaking big goals like running a marathon or doing a pull-up into small steps, like being able to run 5k by the end of January, then 10k by the end of February, and so on. Habit-based means developing a sustainable new lifestyle. Metric-based goals like a certain number on the scale or a waist size can motivate at first. I've definitely been there telling myself, if I lose 5 more pounds, I can show up at an event looking hot and feel happier about myself. And I was motivated to work my butt off, but only until that event. Long-term motivation, on the other hand, means continuously working on the good habits you've developed until it becomes a lifestyle. So try to incorporate a routine that you can be proud of sticking to. For example, go on a run three times a week or wake up early every weekday. Start small because you want to make this routine part of your life long term. Second, find a form of exercise that works for you. Gyms can be intimidating. I remember sitting at the lat pull down and some buff guy asking me if I was finished with my set. I blanked on what a set was, so I just mumbled sorry and left. If you're not a fan of the big machines, don't feel like you need a gym membership to get fit. The options might be limited, but be creative. Use what you have around you like climbing up and down the stairs, taking a brisk walk around your neighborhood, extra playtime with your dog, and of course there are dozens of free home workouts on YouTube. Don't feel like your journey needs to start and end the same way as everyone else's. Next, you've got to start small and be patient. No one can run a full marathon without training. 26 miles seems like a huge number, but that number gets smaller and smaller the more you run. Once you've worked up to that 10 mile run, then 15, then 20, suddenly 26 doesn't seem so intimidating anymore. Starting small is so important. You're preparing your body and mind to form patterns, so it gets easier each time. Don't be discouraged if you can't finish all 20 minutes of the HIIT workout the first time, or you give up halfway through a plank. To quote the season 2 finale of Bojack Horseman, It gets easier. Huh? Every day it gets a little easier. Yeah? But you gotta do it every day. That's the hard part. But it does get easier. Speaking of doing it every day, It's not about staying motivated. It's about staying disciplined. I first heard this piece of advice from one of my favorite YouTubers, Lena Lifts, and it really clicked for me. We're all motivated at the beginning of any journey. New year, new me, right? But what happens when January comes to an end, then February, then March? How many people are still keeping up with their resolutions then? It's easy to be motivated, but no one wakes up motivated every single day. Life happens and we don't want to get out of bed and go on that run. We'd rather watch another episode on Netflix than turn on a home workout. And here's where discipline comes in. Here's where you need to remind yourself why you started and how good commitment feels. Then you can get your butt out of bed and smash that workout. Lastly, change up your goals and routine to keep it fresh. I've tried many forms of exercise in the past from swimming to volleyball to dance to cheerleading to home workouts, then jogging and lifting in college and back to home workouts. It's been a lot. I'm no athlete, clearly, I just love being active and can't stick to one thing. Of course, I love following my favorite fitness guru's workout programs, but it's important to me to switch up my routine every once in a while. If you're feeling burnt out from home workouts, try going for a walk for a few days. If running is getting boring, try low impact hit. There are so many options out there and you're a changing human. It's okay to adjust. If something isn't working, switch to another exercise that makes you happier. Because that's the ultimate goal, to lead a healthy life and feel good doing it. 
it's easier said than done and I have a lot to work on myself too. But hopefully these tips helped you somewhat and I believe you can crush your fitness goals this year. And welcome back to the studio. <laughs> hopefully these tips were helpful to you in some way even if they are coming a little bit later in the new year. But being healthy and fit is an ongoing journey that can start at any time in your life. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching if you've come to the end. Currently, I have a workout program review that's in the works that I'm very excited about. And I'm also just super excited to make more fitness and health content for this year. So I hope you guys stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next one.